Welcome back to the channel. In today's MLB The Show 22 video, we're going to be going over the best stub and the best XP method. If you're new, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, turn your notifications on. If you're an MVP and you've been rocking with your boy, let me know in the comment section. Let's get into some shout outs. We got a shout out for Sheldon Hall, shout out for Raymond Edwards, and a shout out for Jordan Campbell. If you want to be shouted out in the video, make sure you drop a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button. Let's get into today's method. If you're looking for a super, super fun and easy way to earn extra money, follow me on Underdog Fantasy and use code FATDOLLARS for a deposit bonus up to a hundred bucks. All you got to do is come in here, make one dollar bets, two dollar bets, three dollar bets it don't matter choose your players come over to the right put the amount in one dollar bet you have a chance to win three dollars back i will be giving you guys free picks follow me on my twitter and i will give you a discord link and let's have some fun so first we're going to go over how you can get the most xp okay so what you want to do is you want to get out of diamond dynasty you want to go up to the top you want to go to create when you go to create, you want to go to vaults and then you want to push RB or R1 to go to roster. OK, so you're going to be looking for Gomer XP, but you want a certain name. So when you come over, you're going to keep going over. Make sure that you do have your cross play turned on. It's usually around page five, depending on the system right here. Gomer XP Joe G5 alarm. OK, so it's an Xbox user to the left. 314 downloads so you're going to click on that and you're going to download it i already have it downloaded after you download it save it under the file name so you can go back to it then we're going to back out and we're going to go to settings then we're going to go to file management and you are going to load the roster so come down the roster you're going to go to save rosters and you are going to load that up so i got fat xp right here so you're going to open that up and then you're going to have your roster all set then you're going to come down here to exhibition. So I like to come over to a double A or any type of minor league team. Then I will come over here to my Atlanta Braves. If you don't have the 99 overall roster, that lets you know that you didn't set it up correctly. Quick counts on. OK, you're going to come over here and you can see 99 overall to the right. So I'm going to player lock on Max Fry. So to player lock, you're going to push r2 or right trigger i'm going to player lock on him and that's who i'm going to be using and it's different teams that you can go against but your guy is going to be having max stamina he's going to be able to throw the ball super fast and super hard this is the fastest xp method right here until they change it okay so you don't have to back out every single time each game with quick counts on is going to be super fast you should be getting between 16 and 2200 xp each and every time so you're going to come over here and you're just going to try to strike these guys out right there and it's on quick counts so we start off with one and one okay so you don't always have to uh start off with a full count so so right here it's on quick count so it's a one and one count now it's a two and two count we get that strike out there's two people down right there now i'm just throwing it into the cold zones start off with one and one now it's one and two try to get these easy strikeouts so here we go top of the ninth right here it's a 2-1 count, no outs. All we got to do is strike out three betters and the game is over. What I like to do is I do a fast pitch and then I will go back with an off speed, then a fast pitch, then an off speed. That combination seems to be working better. So fastball, circle change, or off speed, make them chase after the pitch. Now it's a 3-2 count, got to throw a strike, boom. Throw the heater past them, easy strikeout. 21 strikeouts so far. Like I said, you should be getting between 17 and 2200 XP each and every time and the faster you can get your pitching sequence off that's the end of the game right there plus 180 xp for that inning now what i mean by backing out is coming right here to exit and then you can go confirm restart as long as the servers don't go down your xp will count so for that one we're going to exit out of it we're going to come back to the main screen and then you should see your xp tally up so we only got 1550 for that one right there so if you use the back out restart the game you should be able to get this done in about six to eight minutes 
in an hour, you should be able to get about 18 to 24,000 XP. So another way to get a whole bunch of XP is to make sure that you do the biggest conquest map. So if you come right here to single player modes and you go to conquest, this nation of baseball map is gonna get you another 48 to 50,000 XP, okay? So doing that first method mixed in with this method will get you close to about 300,000 XP in I would say about four hours. This map right here takes about six and a half hours by itself to fully complete it. So try to do this about an hour and a half at a time. Give yourself three or four different days. You don't have to do it all at once, but you wanna start right here and you wanna go to the left and you wanna take out this team over here and then you wanna work your way around. Come around this way, you're gonna be getting uh, jerseys every time that you take somebody out, diamond jerseys. You're gonna come work your way all the way around the map, all the way around, all the way around, down to the bottom, down here with the Houston and St. Louis, come back up to the Cubs, and then try to leave Boston as the last stronghold because they have the green monster. So once you get halfway through the map right here, you should be able to play all the rest of your games on Rookie. If you need help with how to use Conquest or how to beat Conquest, let me know in the comment section and I will make sure that you guys get that. Now also flipping stubs, you can go right here to completed orders and you can see I just bought this Jim Palmer right here for 7,825 stubs, okay? And you can see I was selling players right here and this is how you can flip. Now that Jim Palmer was going for about 9,000. So if we go right here and we put in Jim Palmer, Jim and see who pops up. So Jim Palmer, so right there, 9,338. So that is about an 800 to 1,000 profit. Very, very easy. This 83 overall, Jim Palmer. It's a lot of cards. If you can keep between the 650 to 1,000 gap in between, you have a good chance if you put a little bit of time, invest a little bit of time into it to make a lot of stuff. So we're gonna turn around and we're gonna sell the Jim Palmer back and we're gonna put them up for 93.35, 93.35, and we're gonna walk away with our easy 900 to 1,000 stubs, okay? So we're gonna post that order right there, and you can do three to four or five cards at a time, walk away with four or 5,000 stub, quick flip in about two to three minutes, okay? Now, sell as many players as you can, get your stub count up, to about 80 to 100,000 stubs so then you can invest into some of these players. A lot of these players are dropping down. This card right here went way down. Michael Trout went down about 60, 70K. So they're gonna go down. You wanna try to get as many stubs as you can, pick up some of these players because if you remember the importance of these players, they will spike back up. This card would go back up to about 475, 500,000 stubs. Okay, but right now it's all about taking advantage of all the free opportunities, doing the XP method, making sure that you're doing the mini seasons, making sure that you're doing the conquest, and then the showdown also gives you another 15,000 XP. I already completed the showdown, got that XP, and it's all about this face of the franchise, this face of the franchise right here. We got 70,000 XP just from doing the XP method and barely starting the conquest, okay? So that's already 70,000 XP. I do the XP method, the walk method, for about another hour and a half to two hours. That should put me up about to 105,000. And then once I finish the conquest, that will put me up to this one, this one, and I should be close to this third one. And then you just gotta play the game, do your daily moments, do your daily missions. Drop a thumbs up on the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one.